Stephanie Ting. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, anyways. Uh, <coughs> So today we're looking at area between curves. Um, the pictures are started for you on this. Basically what we're gonna take a look at is, in this one, we wanna go from zero to one. So I'm gonna show you what that picture would look like. It's this area in here from uh, zero to one, and it's this shaded region in the graph. So we wanna figure out you know, how do we get that odd looking chunk of uh, area instead of stopping at the x axis, which is what we normally do. So basically, if you think about it, there's actually two areas that we're doing here. There's um, the area below the x-axis down here, and there's this area above, um, because that's what the two graphs sort of would have. So if this is piece number one, and this is piece number two, what I'm actually doing to find the area between them is I'm taking the top area and I'm subtracting the bottom area. So it just so happens that the area here is negative, so when you subtract a negative, that's how you add that extra little triangle to the bottom. So to set the first question up, we're given the bounds. We're going to be integrating from 0 to 1. And it's going to be, this is the pattern for area between curves. It's the top curve minus the bottom curve. So a picture helps out a lot because then obviously if we have a picture, we can use it to figure out which one is the top and the bottom. Usually on the AP exam, usually, so hopefully it's the case for you too. If this question were in the non-calculator portion, it would appear like this, giving you the picture so you could see it. If it was in the calculator portion, it may not have the picture because they'd expect you to use your calculator to come up with one yourself. Okay, But this is what we're looking for, the top function minus the bottom. This will be the integral from 0 to 1. This is the top function here, x squared plus 2. That's my parabola up top. So x squared plus 2 on top. And I'm going to subtract this one here, which is the bottom, which is um, negative x. Okay, so that will give me that shaded region between the two curves. And if I uh, collect my like terms from 0 to 1, that will be x squared plus x plus 2 x, so that will be x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 2x two from 0 to 1. Mm -hmm. Someone must have bumped our Wiimote. Let me, uh, okay, so um, if we take these uh, two points, you're probably going to want to use uh, uh, I shouldn't say probably, but you may want to end up using your uh, graphing calculator to help you out with this. After all, who likes to do fractions by hand? And all right, just for fun, let's see here. So that'll be 2, 6, and 3, 6 is 5 out of 6, plus 12 out of 6. So 17 out of 6 would be the uh, area between those two curves. Okay, so we'll take a look at the next one. Um, they all follow the same pattern, uh, which again is nice and visual. It's going to be the top curve minus the bottom. So this one here doesn't have the curve drawn out. I'm going to let you take a head start. What you're working on again is you want a nice picture to figure out which one is the top and which one's the bottom. So I'll let you go ahead uh, with the graphing calculators and we'll catch up. So I, some of you I know are going to need some more time. Uh, I just want to get my picture going here. So uh, let's see. For the first one, 2 minus x squared. It's going to be something like this for uh, let's see here. 2 minus x squared. Should look about like this. And the line y equals x. Something like that. And the area in between the curve is this bounded region in here. So uh, it seems like this bar on my whiteboard always seems to get in the way of making a good picture. But, anyways, um, I 
should, or I should just put the projector right here. Can you, you will hold it for me, Judy, while I'm. <laughs> but uh, okay, so at this point, you know, if you trust your picture, then go with it. Like I've said, time's not your friend on the AP exam. So Mark's question was, what are the bounds? Does anybody see what the bounds are for this? Yeah, you can see one here at negative two. That's the first bound. There's another bound here at one. So I could start an integral that goes from negative two to one. How could you do it if you couldn't tell on your calculator? Oh, you're gonna use the intercept method. Okay, let, let's say you don't have your calculator. Mm, yeah, you're gonna have to solve something. Anybody know how to solve something like that? You f might have forgotten, but all the way back when we started calculus in like November, no, before limits. Make them, equal. Make them equal. Yeah, so on my margin here, this is how you could also answer the same question. If you want to know where the two curves meet, make them equal. This will say then that 0 equals x squared plus x minus 2. So 0 equals x minus 2, sorry, plus 2, and x minus 1. So x equals negative 2 and positive 1 which is, of course, the same as we had, but it, sometimes you may not see it that obviously. If you do see it obviously, just go with it so you save yourself some time. So the top curve here is 2 minus x squared, and the bottom curve here is x. So this is the area that I'm going to integrate. If I collect my like terms, it's going to be uh, 2 minus x squared minus x. And I can integrate those to x minus x cubed over 3 minus x squared over 2 from negative 2 to 1. And at this point, I'll probably get my graphing calculator to help me out with those. Okay, so if those were in, um, I put this in y1 in the graphing calculator. So I'll, if I go y1 of 1 minus y1 of negative 2, I end up with four and a half for the area between those two curves up there. 